Are you will sit now? <laughs> the scripture is like a spectacle. Are you there? You are to see from the scripture. Are you there? Spiritually speaking, the Bible is supposed to be your glasses. Are you there? Somebody come to you and say, please, how, how, how do you cancel us on this? Don't sit and cross your leg and say, uh, well, based on my experience in the field, you will say nonsense. <laughs> Put on what? Respect her. That's how you see well. When I say put on the spectacle, I mean go to the scriptures. Try to see without the spectacle. You will see from a defective vista. A defective angle. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me give you an example. I was praying on Friday, 7 to 8 in the night. One of the mommy geos in a particular church somewhere now called me. I saw the call, but because I'm praying, I did not pick it. She called again. I did not pick it. She now dropped a message and said, Sir, it's urgent. Because it's urgent. Though I was praying, I now called. She said, One of their church members had an accident. He fell from his bike. He's in a critical condition. Please, sir, join us as we pray. I said, Okay. I prayed and later the woman called me that same night and said, the man has died. And that currently now they are trying to get his name so that they can push him to the mortuary. I felt so bad. I said, oh, the next day, the woman now dropped the message from me and said, sir, we don't know how to, how to break this news for the wife because they are still young. Their firstborn is just six or five. It's a young family. He said, so, sir, I want you to... He said, my husband has... You know, the husband is the Jew of the church. So, she said, my husband has called some people to follow me. But I feel they may be emotional. So, please, come with us. I said, okay. So, but I got there late because I was also in another meeting. When I got there, I met the woman. The woman was like this. People were saying a lot of things. <laughs> May you be a true comforter. There are some people, they are not really a comforter. They are coming to complicate your issue. They, they want to come. See, how can you comfort people when you don't have the comforter? Which is the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible calls the Holy Spirit a what? A comforter. For you to be a comforter, you need the comforter. Are you getting what I'm saying? I want to explain this with my own practical experience now, yesterday. So when I got there, people were saying a lot of things. Uh, uh, a lot of terrible things. A lot of people were saying a lot of terrible things. A lot of people were saying a lot of terrible things. A lot of people were saying a lot of Have you heard that nonsense before? <laughs> In their own vista, they are encouraging the. <laughs> are you I sat beside the woman. I was quiet. Everybody was talking. They were saying a lot of things. And they got to me. Hello, I'm motivating. I was like this. I was seated beside the woman. I was trying to find something in my spirit. Meanwhile, when I was coming, a scripture. See, this thing is practical. I want to share practical experience with you. I now told the mommy Gio because when I immediately I entered and I sat beside the woman, the mommy Gio sat close to us. So I now asked the woman, I said, Have you shared the scripture with her? She said, no, that we have just been running around. I said, okay. Meanwhile, that death was a painful death. Because in the husband's house, every one of them are Muslim. It was the wife that converted the husband. And the Muslim family are now saying, you are, instead of you to be doing, you are doing, shk, shk. we will see the head. So that will now pain the woman that they have said that they will see the head. Now, God, why now it will look like, I you get what I'm saying. So, 
and I found one scripture in the scripture. In, yes, one scripture in the spirit. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. That was the scripture. If you are there, please, let's, let's go to that. So because I wanted to use that scripture, and I said, let's read from verse 9. But my attention was verse 10. If you are there, please read. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. And it says, yes. For God is not unrighteous. God is not unrighteous. To forget your work. To forget your work. Labor of love. And, and, and your work. And, and your labor of love. Which you have shown towards him. Which you have shown towards him. In that he has ministered. In that he have ministered. Saved. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. The moment I broke that scripture before the woman, and I told the woman Gio to explain. She explained. I was now talking on the scripture. I said, for the fact that you're able to convert your husband is a great work. But the scripture says, God is not unjust to forget this your labor. And the woman is not only doing that, she's also a member of the, you know, of the, the choir. Actively serving. I felt peace around the woman. I was sitting close to her. All I was saying was from the scripture. And when I finished that, I prayed with her. And I left. From which spectacle did I see? I told her, I said, your husband's family will come to you and say you killed your husband. But anytime they say that to you, go back to Hebrews chapter what? Six. You can't go back to and you will not be sorrowful. Don't try to talk from your head. You will complicate the issue. What do you know? Are you getting what I'm saying? What do you know that you want to say? Are you there? Something happened to someone. You want to talk from things happening around. You are a joker. The Lord will give us understanding. All right, let me rest my case there. 